Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can implement page object model for our existing test. So just a quick overview, page object model is a popular design pattern to improve readability and maintainability as well as it helps in reducing the duplicacy in your code. So we're going to implement our page object model by creating a new class and we're going to call this a page class and we can name this homepage.java and within our page class, we're going to add in our locators as well as our page methods. So once we've added our locators and page methods in our page class, we're going to use them in our test file. So we're going to update our test file to use those page locators and page method by importing the page class. So if you're not really familiar with how page object model works, don't worry. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do that. And it's quite easy to set it up for our Selenite application. So let's get started. All right, so I'm back here on IntelliJ and under the test directory, I'm going to create a new directory and call that one pages. And on pages, just to right click and do new class. Now here, if you don't see the option for class, simply just go to your mark directory S and then change it as test sources root. This way you're going to see an option to add a Java class. Now you can add in your Java class for home page. And this one is optional, so I'm going to add it in. All right, so this is my homepage class. Now under here, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our selectors as well as our page methods. So if I just go to my specs and take a look at my home test, and I'm going to minimize this. So you can see right over here on my second test, I have a selector for get started, which we are finding by ID. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and then I'm going to head over to homepage class. And here I'm going to go ahead and create a new method. So I'll just do public get started button and then I'm going to simply return my ID or basically return that selector. As you can see, I just did return. I pasted that. And the moment I did that, I'm seeing this red line. So if I just click on this, it's saying that we should make this a selenide element. So I'm going to convert this to set the type to selenide element. All right, so IntelliJ went ahead and added this entire line over here, but obviously this doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole thing. And here at the top, I'm just going to do import. And then I'm going to paste this whole thing. And now I can simply just do selenite element over here. There you go. So this looks much better. So we have successfully added our first selector, which is the get started button. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other selectors as well. So I'm going to head over to my home test file. The next one I have is this H1. So we can maybe name this one our heading title. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'll just do public selenite element. And then I will name this one heading title. Then I'll just return this. Okay, so we got to do the same thing for all the other ones as well. So I'm going to quickly speed up the video and add all the other selectors as well. All right, so I went ahead and added the other selectors as well. So I have logo link over here. So I've simply added that using the X path. And then the other one was actually interesting because this is not a selenide element. Here we are returning multiple elements. So for this, I needed to add elements collection. And that's what I imported over here as well. So because this is not returning a single element, instead it's returning multiple elements. So that's why I've added elements collection here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our home test file and we're going to update or basically replace all of the selectors with our page locators. So let's do that. We're going to start off with this one. And before we start replacing this, we need to import our home page class. So we're going to do that at the very top. Right after I've created the class, so I'm going to do home page. And then I'm going to do home equals new home page. So I just initialized my home page class. Now we can start using this. So if I just come down right here, I'm going to do home dot. And you can see I'm getting access to all of the locators that we have added in our home page class. So I have logo link, get started button, heading title, and links list. So the one we need over here is our get started button. So we can just now do this home.getstartedbutton.click. And it looks much cleaner compared to just adding in 
this particular thing right here buy.id blah 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 so here we don't really care how we're finding it we're simply saying then just to home dot get started button dot click similarly i'm going to do the same thing over here so i'm going to do home dot heading text or heading title dot should have text blah blah and then i'm going to update this as well home dot logo link that should be visible and then here we have a collection so i'm just going to do home dot uh, the links list and then it's going to store the link list over here or in fact we don't even need this i can simply just copy this and replace it here in fact even this is going to work and then i can simply comment this out okay so if you notice we made this really simple instead of adding in by.id by.xpath we simply replaced all of that by using the locator names which we have created over here get started button our heading title logo link links list and so on so this is how you can add in your page locators now if you want to add in your page methods what we can do that is for example we have this open here where we are going ahead and opening this particular url or our home page url so i can just copy this whole thing and then i'm going to come to my home page class and here i'm going to create a new method and i will name this one public open and then i will simply just paste that here then i'm going to do return this the reason I'm doing this is because I want to return the home page class so that I can append anything on top of that. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So to return it, I'm going to have to first add in home page here. And it's giving me this error now that open in home page cannot be applied to this particular string. So for this, I can just do selenide dot open. And then I need to import selenide. So I can do that here by just going to the top and then do import. selenite dot selenite that's it and this will fix this error for me now the advantage i get by doing return this is that if i go to my home test class now here we were doing open our home page url so i can just remove this now i can do home dot open which will just open up my home page url but the advantage now i get is i can even do dot and then just add in my other class methods as well or the other locators so I can probably do home.open and then if I want to have some other kind of method, I can just add that too. Right now, I don't really have any other method that I want to add on top, but this gives me the flexibility to keep chaining multiple home page methods. So for example, after open, I might want to do something else. Let's say click on get started button. So I can create a method here called click get started button. So I'll just do homepage.open.click get started button and I can keep chaining these methods together. Now this is optional, it's one way of doing this. It's not really something that I would say that you should go for or that's a recommended way. It's totally up to you how you want to implement this. For now, I can just leave it this way and it's totally okay as well. Now just for completeness sake, we're gonna add in another method just to kind of give you more examples. So if I go to home test, you're gonna notice right here, we do test page URL and title. And then just to assert the URL, we have to do these two things. First, we do string URL, get the url and then we do assert equals to get the actual url whatever we're asserting to so maybe we can create a nice handy method for this so what i'll do is i'm going to copy this and then here i'm just going to add in public i'll do it void for now and i'll just do assert url matches so this one, I'll give an example of how you can add in a parameter and assert something. Then I'll just paste this whole thing. Also, this one is just doing assert equals. It's not doing matches. So I'm going to get rid of matches. I'll simply just say assert URL. And since we're asserting the URL here, I'm going to add in the expected URL here. So I'm just going to do expected URL. And then this is a string. So I'll add that in. And then I'm just going to add that in over here. Okay, so now we can go ahead to our home test, get rid of this whole thing, and then just do home dot assert URL. And then I'm gonna paste in the entire URL, which is, I believe it was this. There you go. And remember I told you that we can actually chain methods as well. So what I can do is instead of having this as a separate one, I can just chain it over here. So I'm gonna do home dot open. So we open the home page, and then I can just do assert URL, and then I can just paste in my URL. So you see, instead of doing it in like two separate lines, 
I can just do it together just like this. So this creates like multiple chain methods that you can add in. If it's relevant to each other, you can chain it. If it's not relevant, then you can keep it separate. All right, so we added a bunch of things over here. Let's try to run this to make sure it works. So I'm gonna try to run, for example, this test. I won't run all of them, but I'm just gonna run this to show you an example that this still works. All right, so we just ran our test and as you can see, it successfully passed right over here. So to quickly wrap up, what we did is we created a new pages directory and within that we added our homepage class. And in our homepage class, we added our locators, which were our selenite element as well as our elements collection to handle multiple elements. And then we also created our homepage method as you can see over here. And then we also created method where we can pass in some kind of parameter and then how we can use that parameter within our method as well. And finally, we imported our homepage class and we reused them over here in our test file. So that's the advantage you get when you're working with page object model. You're able to improve the overall readability of your test. And we also improve the maintainability because now if you need to change a locator, you don't have to go ahead and change it in multiple places. You simply go to your homepage class, you just change it there and it will get updated for all of your other tests as well. So that's it for this video guys, if you like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on this video. You could also support me by sharing this video with others. Thanks for watching, I will see you all in the next one.